Hey YouTube, welcome back to Unix TCG. And today, now that matchmaking is fixed for the most part on uh, the Fusion Mode client, we're just gonna be posting up games. Every uh, one of these videos, we'll just be focusing on a singular deck that I grinded with, and uh, we'll just be playing some of our best matches. Uh, the matches for the most part will just only be our God rank matches. There'll be wins, there'll be losses, but the important part is a learning experience. Um, sometimes if the match is really good, we'll just post that up even if it isn't in God rank. Like today, we just, uh, well, like, uh, in this video we're facing uh jay blaze tcg really really cool beerus mirror match and i think you guys are gonna like it so without further ado i gotta talk about the sponsors just saying if you are in the u.s and you need a place to fulfill your tcg needs mystic tcg is the way to go they are located in missouri you can pre-order all your tcg needs from them they have the hottest games and they hold their own events if you're in the area and then if you're in canada bam we got g3 g3 is pretty much just that dude up there up north they hold their own events they allow you to pre-order product and you know you just have a place to go whether you're in the united states or whether you're in canada so check out those and then uh past that let's see if we can get this video to over 100 likes i know you can do it and if you want to check out the patreon we got plenty of stuff up there so yeah we have articles we have uh breaking down red that's coming out the deck list for this beerus deck will be up on there as well so yeah just get up on there see what's up and i'll see you at the end of the video all right so we're playing a master Ooh. All right, cool. So we have good master ocean. We have hit. We yeah, this hand is busted. <laughs> the only thing I don't really have right now is a good charge. That's it. Gosh, tell me go second. Oh man, come on, bro. Why are they gonna do me like that? I'm trash. Either way, this is a very, very, very strong hand. Um, if he coins out hit or he has a Whis, that could be annoying, but... Oh my gosh, double hit? Yeah, no, nah, my hand, my hand, <laughs> my hand is just... Just sorry, but a physical box. Okay, this is the last one until set two. Oh! Okay. Alright, set two, I'm gonna have to get up in there. Brian, are you going to North Carolina? Why is he attacking the crit leader? Well, Holly, bro. Sir? Sir, are you okay? I mean, okay. Uh, we're gonna charge this. We're gonna take a crit off of him. Let's see what he got. Uh, just a 10k. That's not really anything in particular, but whatever. Krillin is good as a 10k. We'll be able to defend the hit. You're on the waiting list for North Carolina? Big maybe. You'll be there for both June events? Sweet. Uh, Brian. Okay, Brian. If you, have you worked out housing for June? Because I'm not going to front. Like, I am sorting through different, I'm sorting through different things. But uh, if you haven't worked out housing for June yet, I would definitely be down to coordinate with you. Bro! Bro said, get these out of my face, dog. I mean, that's fair. Uh, that's not really going to really do as much as I want to here, so... We with the crud again. You have for Rosma... For sure, for the other, it's up in the air. Okay. Because, I mean, the way I see it now... Like, I've been talking to uh, Spira. The way I see it now, it's like... We're essentially going to have to just make these rooms you know what i mean like surely he can't have the third god command man is the uh, rescue yeah okay i mean he could just mize me and play the goku that could happen i'm not really worried about it but i was about to say um yeah the way i'm seeing it that just looks like a week in illinois so i'm just trying to see like if people want to have the testing house of the gods and an airbnb for illinois you know Okay, so he doesn't have the second god command man, which is fine.
I mean, I think swinging at me here is a little reckless. Oof. I was gonna play Gohan, but this kind of changes up things. Because this guy will be 25, so I can swing with hit. Yeah, I think this is kind of this kind of a lot. Chicago Regionals, you were thinking of that, but didn't make much sense to you since you may be going with your. Oh, okay. All right. You said you're you're, you're down for the test house in Illinois. I mean, that that do be making sense. Um, we're just gonna block this. Let's uh, let's vibe check. Twenty three people on YouTube, nine people on Twitch. This is the first time I've streamed in a while, so I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad at it. So, what we get to do here is... Uh, we get to go through quite a lot. We don't want to tap out in this deck right now. So, realistically, we just send everything towards his face. Right? Actually, we have three super combos. There may not, not be a reason to tap out. Yeah, there's literally not a reason to tap out. We got three super combos. We're we're kind of just pushing in. We can send everything towards his face right here, and it's just Gucci. 25 crit. He'll drop a 10k. There's no way he won't. Get rid of three cards in his hand. Chicago regionals are going to be lit. Litty. He let that go through, and that kind of scares me a little bit, but... That's a lot of pressure next turn. Okay. So unless he destroys this guy by effect, we get to keep Gohan, and Gohan plus Beerus is just one of the nastiest combos you can have in this deck. So now going on a 5, swinging on me here. The hand disparity is pretty strong here, but he can only play so much. We're going to let that one go because we just easy clear it. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're going to have to do a little bit of cleanup here. I mean... It's not bad. Um, I think... Like, I mean, depending on what the next turn is, we do have a little bit of, like, play that he might actually just go off on. Uh, see, here's the thing. I don't want to charge here. But if we minus 10, if we minus 10, minus 10, minus 5, I think we get a lot of value here. And the Goku's a zero cost. Uh, drawing that Gohan did change a lot, but we get a lot. We get a lot of this. Yeah, I think we just get a lot of this. The Gohans are so massive in this matchup. So massive. We just literally let the Gohans do the work here. He shouldn't be able to kill us next turn. We have a lot. So, I must ask again, how y'all doing? We just clear his entire field, right? He could super combo for this, right? Oof. 
That's a monster ball. Like, I could see him super comboing for this. That's not... It would it would suck for him. I'm going to clear two of his things next turn. Oh, well, this turn, but... Oof. I didn't want to rip it. But I don't want him to... Uh, I don't want to risk him... Keeping anything. You can keep those three cards in hand. I'll be fine with that. And then next turn, he's probably just going to fold under the weight of this. Charging up to five. Now, if he plays Goku for five, I can go up to 60. And with two cards in his hand, there's actually no way he could get up to 60. So we just take the card. Oh, sorry. Three cards in hand. We might have actually goofed up there. Because three cards in hand, he can definitely go up. Okay. Okay. We're fine. Oh, 65. Yo, did we just punt that? Yeah, we punted that. For some reason, I thought uh, I thought he was higher than that. That's so stupid of me. That's my mistake, guys. I literally was just talking to you guys and just didn't even do math correctly. I felt like I played that matchup very well and then just didn't do math correctly. But uh, we'll get back into that. Kind of just easing back into that. That's actually, that's actually kind of funny. I'm not even going to hold you. That's actually kind of funny. Oh, do we have to go back into the uh, thingy right there? Did I really just like accidentally oof? Okay, whatever. We'll just keep playing it. Yeah, I literally was like, well, there's no way. And I just took the damage when I didn't have to take the damage. So we might have just like actually gone stupid. He says he's the seventh ranked in here. Uh, that's the bad Roshi. We'll change this one. I think I might have to do my uh, my acceptance again. That was kind of funny. But realistically, I'm just here to uh, I'm here to play. I don't really mind anything. Uh, can I get the coin this time? Okay, I get the coin this time. This is great on me. This is good because if he plays Roshi, I just get to use Kamehameha and wipe it off the board, get some good momentum in, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Uh, you have had a 10k off of life, you would have been fine. Yeah. I mean, overall, sucks to suck. I kind of did that to myself, you know? Yeah, yeah, I do like that with Beerus. I like it a lot with Beerus. Man, I really was dumb on that one, wasn't I? Like, I really just let that hit. I literally could have dropped a super combo. I'm doing fine. But I literally was like, okay. Dang, that was so bad of me. And it dropped me out of God, which I kind of forgot was a thing that can happen. I mean, I guess. I am a little upset I let that happen to myself, though. I'm not really going to worry about that.
it's not bad. Gaining a shin. Um, we can put that guy down. At the end of the day, it's kind of a little controly deck. See if we can get a little, another critical in there. He's smart about it, though. He's just letting them hit. Um, this is where next turn he's probably going to awaken. Make sure we don't give it to him. I wonder if you do, uh, I wonder if you have to do the god promos. Uh, I mean, the way this game kind of is, I'd assume I would have to again. Don't really worry about this one either. Uh, we don't really need to awaken anymore, so we just hit him with this. Uh, hit was a stellar draw. But at the end of the day, we want everything to, no pun intended, hit. So the question is, what do we do here? Uh, we minus by 10. We minus by 10. We can get rid of it for two, but I want to have some forward progress on the board. I think the first thing we do is attack here. Ah, oh, that's very good. That's a very good next turn play. Starting to get back in Fusion World, you can't use the clients to know in real life locals nearby. Any recommends how to practice? Um, I mean, you could always use Untap at the minimum. Untap is very, very easy to use. Very intuitive. I don't really want to have anything. He is gearing up, though. He understands he can't really be using these things. Um, so he's going up to 30k. We'll go up to 35. Yeah, I assume they're going to make me do the promo matches again. That's just kind of how life works, right? Um, a little dangerous. We take this. Ah, that changes up things, too. I was going to play the Gohan, but I can't really pass up the opportunity to... Uh, do that. Ooh, Kamehameha is nice on the defense too. This is all overall a good turn for me.
is there any discord servers that do free locals on webcam i don't know about free locals but i'm trying to build up the community in my discord enough to do more okay okay Press the offensive. We don't have our own double strike, but we're gearing up for it. Man hasn't dropped any shins, and that is a scary problem. Is there a link for my Discord? Yeah, sure thing, bro. Mm -hmm. So he's swinging at me here. Um, we just don't let that go. Thirty-five. Okay, so if we do this, we go up to twenty-five and put them down to thirty. This is gonna seem like a lot of waste, but I have to break this momentum. He simply cannot get rid of a body. He can't get rid of a body and uh, this as well. So thirty. Okay, so now we don't have to get rid of super combo. We just go thirty-five. Now, that is a bit annoying. Um, we actually will get rid of a shin for this one. Okay, I'm, I was uh, trying to pull up the, uh, the Discorder here. Um, okay. Sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure I had this. Here's my Discord. Uh, you'll have to choose the rolls. Uh, so I drew into another Shen. Uh, we're going to have to charge here. Actually, no. No, we don't. We're going to end the phase here, right? Let me super annoying. Get that draw there. Oof. So minus him to 30. Dang, we would have been destroying by effect, wouldn't we? So gross. All right, so he goes for the protect here. That's fine. That is fine. Above all else, we have to make sure this survives. Hmm. 29 people on YouTube, 9 people on Twitch. Okay, okay, we'll keep we'll keep chilling, we'll keep chilling. We got time, we got time. As I do this steadily, it'll work. So uh, we'll end that here. The TN's probably gonna go. So we are going to put the Shin on here to prevent it from being super combable. This will probably lead to him hitting me with a shotgun if he can. But I'm just going to protect it this time. So he's going to 6, meaning he probably will be trying to play the 5. He has already charged 2 Gokus here, so I can't see him not. Ah, uh, He's probably going to end up removing this to get the Goku out of the way. Or to get him out of the way, and then playing the 5 drop. We simply are just not going to let this happen like it did before. So he's doing this so that Goku can clear two things. Like, he's being very smart about this. Five job Goku clears this now and this now. And then I have to start top decking to go harder. It's a very, very plausible play. 
Like, this guy truly is a god ranker. So, I'm going to draw. Um, super unfortunate that he caught my own Goku. Uh, we have to end the phase. No, we wait. Now, if he has another Goku, this could be particularly wild, but we have to see what goes on here. If he swings neutral and pokes, I probably just have to let this. Unfortunately, I just have to let this go on go. Like I can't, I can't just let him poke me to death. Now, if he plays the one drop, that's gonna be funny. Okay, so he's gonna get a draw. Let's see if he tries to combo with it, because that might signify. Oh, okay. He might actually be trying to get all of my life down with this. Which would be hilarious. He can no longer play the other Goku, but four is a lot in this deck. But he still has to make sure that I can't kill him this turn. Yep, he's going to go for it. So we need to pull a 10k off of here. That's not it. Hmm. Okay, what's he fun to know? A 30k? Okay. Oh, did he get it live? Did he get something live? Okay, now. Scoop face. Alright. What do I think will be the strongest leader slash deck? Uh, T.O.P. Goku is looking really strong. Alright, we're going again. Check deck, please. Raphael. Ah, look. Look. We have to come up with a system for that. Um, that's not good enough. Yeah, that's not good enough. We need a uh, one drop Roshi. Uh, at least we got two self awakeners like last time. We still got some time. Coin goes to me. We got some time. This is so good in the Beerus matchup. It's not even funny. It's just so nasty. At least he didn't get a good one. Um, so when it comes to deck check, it's a little rough because I want to start making better ways to monetize. So, um, and. With the Patreon, a lot of my people, there are a lot of people that use the, uh, that uh, would like the deck list on my Patreon, so I'm trying to, like, work things out. Get a little crit in there. See if he drops. He does not. We gotta see, we gotta see. I'll come up with a better system. So we essentially had mirrored movements. I see that he's playing uh, this guy really good. 10k with a pretty good cost. Does a lot. Might try to fit him back in, but I'm playing a little bit more of an aggressive viewers. Um, we're just not gonna let this one hit. I don't feel like it. This card's very good, but he's gonna be swinging into it in a second. Um, but we do need to get the Awakening on, otherwise we'll start running out of hand. So, with that being said, we do want a way to get rid of Roshi, and we do have a way to get rid of Roshi. Good. 
We're not giving him the chance to awaken. And we've got rid of two self-awakeners with our crit. So very unlucky on his part, very lucky on my part. Charging a Krillin, that's a bolt. Maybe he just believes I'm just gonna take it to his dome and awaken him. Which is fair. Which is fair. The thing is though, right now I'm kind of in control. My hand definitely denotes that I'm in control. I've got the coin too. Um, that's kind of annoying. Not really much of a way to get rid of that. We have to say 30. Can't really be comboing out of 30 when we don't have a hand. Uh, that sucks. That's a good card. That's a good card. So we need a uh, we need a uh, awakened right now. There are a couple of things we could use. Uh, hit is a very good right now. Um. Stellar hits. Actual stellar hits. Next turn will be very rough for him. And I'm going to awaken too, so I'm just gonna start tearing apart his field. This is this feels very nice. Attack animations on 7 to 6 attack? What do you mean? So thank you for all the content, man. Just came over for One Piece and your videos are a great help. Yo, White Wizard, we appreciate it. We still want to do One Piece content on this channel. It's just not trending as well as it used to on this channel. Wolfgang, yes sir. This is attack animations. Can you explain that? Attack animations on 7 to 6 attack? Um, it's any time you get over 30. Anytime your base leader gets over 30. Um, yeah, that, that just happens. So swinging here, we have a lot of opportunity. Um, I don't have to take this. But I do want to awaken next turn, so we'll take this. We'll worry about the rest later. Um, this is a lot, but it's not enough to make us really bad, really scared. This changes some things right here. Um, what we are going to do is charge this guy because he's not really much of use for us right now. We have the ability to get this down, get this down, do this, do this. Okay, this is very interesting. play this we get to remove a roshi we don't get to remove this we get to potentially cripple him here we need to get rid of his board see if we can force him to use his shin he needs a 10k he either needs to get rid of his Roshi and a card in hand or his Shin. And right now we can play mind games with him. Yeah. Oof, he let that go through. Okay, that changes a lot, guys. That changes a lot. I don't want to awaken him yet. I want him to spend some of his energy to awaken. But this card is also a very good card. We have the ability to use Kamehameha. So now we run his hand. Go 
Very good. Very good. So, he just hit himself with a super combo. He has two cards in hand. Let me leave it. We have the ability to go above him, and no matter what he plays this turn, we can destroy it. Charging a five. That's fair. We have to, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. We actually should have just... That is the... Yeah, we have to use this now. I mean, that was unfortunate. That was a very unfortunate casualty. Now, if he attacks with, uh, if he attacks with Shin, this is a very bad position for him. Okay, good. So, we didn't attack with Shin, and I also get this. What we have now is the ability to ruin his board. I think we just charge with hit now. And the rest is almost history, right? We don't give him the draw. Krillin is nice, but it is what it is. And then from here on, he crumples. He's got zero cards in hand, and he needs a self-awakener. Otherwise, everything is lost. Handing out in this game is one of the worst things you can actually do. You end up losing so much. Like, I have the ability to do whatever I want with the field. And now we've just seen this happen here. Uh, I do play my Beerus a little more controlly. If you guys seen how much destruction I have, like in my hand right now, you have a Floodgate, you have uh, Sun Goku being able to destroy things at 10k, you have this being able to destroy. Like he's gonna be able to get some cards here, but he's not doing anything to me this turn. I don't actually, I mean, it could be possible for him to take this, but. He's going to awaken, he's going to get a card, he's going to swing, he's going to get another card. He's going to have three cards in this. I still have the ability to combo with 20k over this. So we got to see how he pushes for this. He's definitely on the down swing now. And he's got to be careful. He's got to be so careful. Next turn, if this doesn't go through, I can push lethal so much it's not even funny. Swinging at me here is kind of cute. This is going to combo, though. I don't have the means to not fear. I don't have the means to not fear a, uh, to not fear a double strike, so I can't take that. The question is how he handles this. That's a bit of a mistake. Now I definitely... Like, I'm clearing his field regardless, but I want to know how he comes at this. Because depending on how he does so... Hmm... Fifteen people in Twitch, forty-five people in uh, YouTube. We're up here. We're up here. This is rough. I don't want to lose my largest stick here, but I also didn't want to lose that Goku. Um, I think I still have. I have four more in the deck. It's not a problem. I have two more in the deck. It's not a problem. So, let's see how he's going to swing on this. If he doesn't have more than a 2k, it's kind of like... Or, than a 5k, it's rough. Actually, he needs a, he needs more than that. Ooh. He's trying to set me up. Okay. Um, This is bad. This is bad. 
We're in the face here. Very good pickup. Very good pickup. Okay. So, we are just going to gear up to destroy him next turn. Now, even with the double strike, it's not going to get there. And if he doesn't kill me this turn, we pretty much have almost free reign to do a lot next turn. We got to see. We got to keep it. We got to keep it clean. If he tries to swing here, we have the Kamehameha to really go up higher. He'd have to combo a lot of his hand just to stop. We have to first see if he's even going to charge. I am in a much better position than him, but I am in no way, shape, or form out of the, out of the clear. Let's see if he puts anything on it. He didn't... Not comboing and then not putting anything on it is very interesting to me. Very interesting. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that one. Mainly because if he taps out, I don't think he's dead. But if he taps out, it's gonna be bad for him. Okay, so we probably are no. That's not enough. Oh, I see. I see. I don't know. He might win this one. This is the second time I've been hit by that Beerus. It's kind of rough. That's a card we can't use. We have to draw... Yeah, guys, I actually think I lost this one. The double Beerus broke me. Yeah, he definitely does. He definitely does. He has the upper hand now for sure. The double Beerus actually got there. I wanted to set up for the turn to end him, but... No matter how we cut it, I think we just die here, right? He's just waiting on another, uh, like, another Beerus would do a lot of work here, depending on what he has in hand. Um, yeah. He skips charge again, but just a Goku would put him out of work here. Yep. Like a singular Goku does it. And it's going to be very hard for me to draw out of this. Okay. Well, he doesn't have Goku, and that's sort of a relief. Um, we are missing a lot here. Does he combo, though? He needs to press. Yeah, I was like, he needs to combo here. Yeah, man. Is it, uh, it's Beerus why set up? You're facing one of the best leaders for void control? Correct. But he only had so many cards in hand. And if I swing, like, okay. So, hear me out. Oh, okay, yeah, he's, he's got something there. Hear me out on this one. Yeah, he's good. So, you're like, why set up for Beer? Or it's Beerus, why set up? The same logic of he's probably gonna have it still applies to if I give him two more cards three more cards by swinging with a double strike and a one drop like if he could kill me the turn before like at that point a control deck needs options 
That's literally what a control deck needs. A control deck needs options. So if I give him more options, like, who am I really helping? Um, the next one. I'll, I'll play it after the next one. That was wild. Ain't no way, though. Ain't no way, though. Oh, I've been streaming, bro. Ooh. Um, change. Woo, that was close. I almost got stuck, bros. And sis is too. Ah, yes. This hand. This hand shall bang. And I got the coin. Um, we don't like to see that. I mean, it is what it is. Right? Uh, Shin. There's not a lot we'd like to charge here. We don't want to get rid of all of our self-awakening, and there's ways to put that back. So, currently... I mean, this is going to be good for pressuring me, um, But there's a lot in our hand that we could use. I mean, that's not bad at all, right? Let's see if we can take one of these crits from him. Crucial! <laughs> uh, that guy crumbled the best hand, lol. Let's see it. Let's see, uh, you hope a four cost or five cost blue SCR save us the bottom next six cost or less. That'd be good. Um, I want... If you guys play, uh, if you guys play One Piece, I'm on a Red Rock. I'm on a Red Rock in, uh, in this one. That's what I want to see. I mean, we kind of knew that. Like, that's a card. Okay. So, Son Goten's gonna bounce that. That's fine. We're not really worried about that. You said crit is so cruel. I mean, it all, <laughs> it always has been. Mm-hmm. Look at this dude. All right. It's a very good card we'll use for later. So the issue here is that we do not, we do not want to, uh, he needs to swing on me anyway. I'm gonna charge there. I think we play hit here and we swing into this and we swing into him. Honestly. Now, the thing here is, he's got a lot of stuff to do, right? Now, this is the dangerous part. We have to clear the board because, realistically, uh, he's going to start swinging at numbers. Every time his leader swings, we're probably getting rid of a super combo. Like TBH. Um, now he can just combo this out of the way, and that is the rough part. So we will flip. Bouncing cards only gets really good value in games if somebody's thinking it's really correct. That Goten card is okay in this matchup, but you do not play anymore thanks to the promo Vegeta. Ah, promo Vegeta, pretty good. Um, the worst part though is getting cards out of his hand isn't bad. Like it's almost like just it's something that we just have to do. Do we want to do this? No. Are we going to? Yes. Now, the good part is here, he needs to play another body and swing with it to use his leader effect. He's kind of out of hand. It's a little too fat. Ah. 
I mean, that's that's a card though. That's a that's a that's a dude. Um, charge play. Okay. So now he's down. We do have to withstand this turn, but we're in a pretty good space. We're in a very good space, actually. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this, because he's going to swing on this again, right? Um, If I play Gohan and I, I make this guy this, I make this guy this, I can probably kill this guy. Sorry, guys. I'm just thinking. I think we just have to play safe. We really do have to let that go. As much as I want to play Goku, we have to let that one go. And then this gets off the board, so we don't need to have to worry about it next turn. Let's see what he does here. He's committed so much to that, we just let it happen. Like, he committed quite a lot to that. So that goes down to the bottom of his deck. We get another super combo, which is extra tasty. These cards don't mean as much right now, and I do feel okay charging one. We do want to keep this open, but with two super combos in hand, I feel pretty good about what I can do here. Now, if I use the coin right now... I lose the ability. We want to make the most out of the Gohan. This is a little bit of a tricky situation. We want to keep all this. We want to use this too. Is it bouncing? Yeah, we, uh, dude be dude. Dude do be the dude. Yeah. We just gotta let his hand drop a little lower, you know? Now, I could play this right now and swing. And he's tapped out. He'd have to go a little higher. I don't want to commit to this yet. And he still has to get over this guy. So, realistically, we swing here. And we can protect it with Kamehameha for very good, very nice. So he's swinging for 25, and he has to drop a 10k here. This is where the tide starts to turn, because his next turn is very important. He's only really playing one card a turn. We have the chance to mise that. Very well. So he uses leader effect. So what we're getting here is the swing on the leader and the keep. We don't want to drop, so we immediately just drop that, right? But now we need to see what he drops outside of here. We're not in Goku Black territory, and I think next turn we just pressure him so hard. The question is, what are we going to see him do? I mean, Time Machine is valid. But we have some outs right now. All right. This is a time where we'll actually be able to use this. So we just do it. Let's see. 30 people on YouTube. 11 people on Twitch. It's not bad, not bad. All right. So we take that. Did you do that? No, what does he do? He still has three. That's not a bad amount of uh, energy to play. Okay, yeah. That's pretty big. Now, this is leading to some funny stuff. Is he going to combo? Like, this is where a sort of hope would be fine, right? 
Okay. So, 40 here is not bad, but it's depressive. And realistically, we're able to kill a lot of his board here. I think we kind of just have to, right? Now this drops. We have a lot of momentum going into next turn. So we draw. Uh, we keep that. This is the turn that we get to slam Gohan down. I need so much on defense that I just let him touch this. If he wants to drop a card from hand, which he will, he'll drop a 10k. Now we let him drop another card. Now, if we get Sickle, that's going to be nasty. Let's see. Does he think he's going to be able to... He might. Like, he might. We only have uh, 10, 20, 30, 40. So we have 40k, 50k combo power in here. It's not completely obscene that he kills me. Now he plays 5 cost of Yeah. Uh, Kamehameha is so good. SMA, Kamehameha is just gross. I mean, because look, it looks like a 15k on paper, but if you block with a battle card, it's 20k. Alright. So, 5 cost Vegeta bottom decks, and then he can swing. But it doesn't stop everything from happening. 5 cost Vegeta still kind of leaves him a little, uh, a little, little hurting. So now we end. That was a good momentum turn. He's at three. He has four cards in hand. Now, granted, his leader effect is still going to be wild, but it could be worse. It could be worse. All right. So he did charge up to five. He is at this. Let's see what he swings on. That's the most important. Either one of these guys, he needs to commit, because if he just goes raw 35, um, a 5k and a 1 and a 10k is going to get it. Yeah, he needs to combo. If he doesn't combo, I don't like this. Alright, well. And this could be the Master Javate. Like, don't get me wrong. But if he scythes me right now, like, if he sickles me, that would be so sick. Alright. So now I get to bottom deck this, which is fine. The question is, where does he go with this, right? Forty-five. Um, that's forty. That's fifty. I don't like it, but we can't go down right now like that. We have to punish him for making that play. That card's a very good draw for this turn. I'm just trying to figure out whether or not that's what we want, right? So right here, we're going to try to bait cards out from his hand, right? Very good pickup. 
what I can do here is hit him with this and make him drop one more card. See what he does. Preferably, he drops one card here. Alright. So he doesn't drop the card. We want to give him a threat. I want him to drop one more 5k, right? But we couldn't get that. So now we swing here. And we just let it chill. You should have taken that and then hit him with the double to kill. Uh, He wants to drop cards and he can't kill him. Legitimately, that's still a risky play. We've seen two super combos. He was tapped out, but we saw two super combos. And he still had, what, three cards in hand at that point? I don't have the combo power to push him. A 35k gets destroyed by two 10ks, which he could have had. A singular super combo, which he could have had. And I had to give him another card to get him in double strike range. I do not think that's... I don't think that's raw. I don't think uh, swing going for the kill that turn was worth it. I would have had to have a little bit more combo power to feel safe on that one. So with this setup, this is fine. We would like to see more, but this is fine. He only has one peel off. I think the pan is the only thing you take, right? Realistically, it's the pan. I mean, you can take Goten or Trunks, really. But he's losing all the color power. Yeah, if I, like, honestly, uh, if I had, like, if I had, like, a Kamehameha that turn, I may have just charged it and then pushed. But I just, I'm not sure. Uh, with three cards in hand, access to, like, four-ish, I was just not really feeling that one that turn. So, now he's going to play Baby Pan. Oh, he's definitely filtering. He's so scared. That's fair there. I don't think he, I think he knows he can't win. So, he's going to try to do this. And then he wants to make sure that this is out of the way too, which is fine. If he turns things to the side and has to combo, I'm fine with that. If he's, a, if he's a smart player, he'll combo off the board and not the hand. His hand is looking fatter and fatter, but I'm just going to have to test it next turn. I don't have the ability to not test it. Alright, so he discarded... He discarded a 0k and a 5k, so he had to have picked up another 5k or 10k at the minimum. Trunks to return back to hand is a little nasty. Like, and not in a good way. Because that's more combo power to use. I think he kind of flubbered on that one, TBH. And if you take that. I wish that was a 10k, but he's real. He realistically, he's just actually giving me gas. And now I think he has no choice but to die. So now what happens here is I charge this. I activate skill here. I want to make sure this works. This flies. Remove that. We swing here to get a card. It's hit. Obvi, of course. Now he's tapped out. He's used two super combos. So the max he can get to is 60, 70. And the max I can get to... We're at 60, 70. So we match him. The maximum he could combo for right now is the maximum I can get to. So even if he has a super combo, super combo to 10k, I just, I just take it. Okay. There we go.
Oh yeah, oh yeah. If I if I go for game that last turn, and he just has defense, or he just doesn't die, I instantaneously get evaporated, leaving that Vegito on board. I had to leave it, or I had to get it off the field. How you do it? Oh, another God Ring. Let's go. All right. Well, I guess we see the gas now. Mm. We're going first, so we can't rely on double hit. This hand's arguably worse. This is not good. I'm not going to hold you. This, this hand is doo-doo. Like, we threw away hit because we are not going first, or not going second, so we couldn't hit, then double hit. That's a... Hit and double hit is an amazing opener. But we just didn't have it. Um, he is attacking on us, so whatever, we can take that. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to the card we just put down. Oh! Okay, I'm sorry. I was not aware of your game. I guess he's just good. Uh, we can't really kill the Awakening, and we want to make sure that we can awaken him. This card might prove useful in the future. This card is kind of uh, chilling right now. Not really a great place for it. Every time I say a card is not doing anything in my hand, so let me get rid of it, it gives me that card back. You said, oof, spicy, look. I was not aware of his game. Bruh. Alright, do it. Flip over a Burly while you're at it. Androids is not also bad. That's that's fine. That's a fine card. Now we will have to use this card. Draw. Um. That's fine, right? said if you could just draw the most out of sequence that any human could ever possibly draw that would be cool so that'd be okay guy all right dude sure bud Uh, my deck is literally five cards. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is, though. Now, we have to see what he has in hand, because Awakening awakening this early is not good. You do not want to be there on a red deck. Because we're starting to get to the point where I can go wide on him, and that's just, again, not where you want to be. He can't use his leader skill right now. This is going to be a weird turn because I have to survive. Like, if he has a Vegeta here, that's not going to be good for me. Um, yeah, whatever. Okay. Mm, that's fair. That's fair, right? Okay. I am no longer running the Vegeta.
He can kill the Krillin. That's fine. But we're gonna swing a lot. Drop a card with combo. He dropped Broly. His hand is clogged, bro. His hand is giga clogged. All right. Well, we draw. Um, this is probably gotta go. I just do. Android's next turn would really suck, but we gotta risk it for the biscuit. Like, Androids would really suck. Every card you charge, I uh, stop. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Bro, it's... They be getting me. They be getting me sometimes. Like I said, androids will be worst case scenario for me, but... Of course. Mean fair. Tell you literally, of course it is. Of course. Smart, smart. Uh, super combo does not get it. Super combo plus one gets it. If he super combos on that, it's devastating. But if I super combo on this, he has to get rid of most of his hand to stop it. I over comboed, but I just don't think I could get around him having multiple ways to out that. That's just too much. That's just too much. Uh, swinging at me. What's he gonna do here? Leader effects? No. This may be where we see a Sun Gohan. If we see a Sun Gohan secret right here, yeah. That's big ouchie. That's big ouchie. Yeah, I think that's next turn. It's it's lights out. It's lights out with Broly. Oh 
left, right, good night. Now, this play leaves him open. No, it doesn't leave him open to double strike. It really doesn't. Yeah, this is left, right, good night. He draws. Uh, he dropped a Broly earlier, so I, I would be surprised if he didn't have enough in hand to do another one. He just charged a Broly, so I'm definitely getting Broly this turn. The question is if I can survive it. We have the potential to rob this one from the jaws of defeat. Thirty-five. JK, we're dead, guys. We're dead. He shouldn't swing here. He might do it for the draw, but he shouldn't. I think that's all for Command Maus. There's not even a card with Roshi that I'd love to draw right now. We really only saw Force R1 Super Combo. Alright, I guess. Bruh. Not it. Bruh. Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, GG. All right, let's see. The client forgot to shuffle the deck. I mean, it kind of did, but a loss is a loss. It'd be happening, it'd be happening. So I hope you enjoyed the best of Mega Cut. Like I said, be sure to uh, check out the channel for more. Make sure to follow my Twitch so you can catch the stuff live. Um, if you want to see the deck list or just my huge giga long breakdown articles, you can just hop on uh, the Patreon and check it out there. Speaking of which, we gotta give a special shout out to uh, the people that give the extra, extra oomph to the brand. Uh, we got the Realm of Xers, which are the Big Daddy Flapjacks, the Burrars, the Bryce Rs, the Kevin Eyes, and the Mr. Top decks. But we also got the uh, the Aristocrats, <laughs> the Universal Aristocrats, and those are gonna be the Eric Rs, the Exilions, the Jonathan Bs, the Mario Vs, Thank you guys for going the extra extra mile to support me and I appreciate it to the max. And I will see you in the next video, article, social media post. Thanks for watching.